Alright, so let's continue from where we stopped last tutorial. So what I'm going to do, I have my liquid setup. We already know that. We have this. So if you haven't seen this, I'm going to put the link in the description so you can go and check how we made this. Alright, so I'm going to hide this and bring up this um, package. So what I'm going to do for the package, if I hit NB, it shows me the wireframe. So I'm going to add some segments here so i can um, work with enough subdivision here all right so once i'm done with this i'm going to select it go to my mo graph and add it into a Verona fracture so i'm just going to bring this out and put this here so as soon as I put it in the Verona fracture, I'm going to have this broken down into pieces. So I need more pieces. So I'm going to go to the source tab, select the point generator distribution, and I'm going to increase this. So let's try 200. I think 200 is fine. I don't need too much. And I'm going to select the Verona fracture. I'm going to go to MoGraph. Then I'm going to select push apart. So the push apart will really push this thing apart and because of the scale of this object, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this push apart distance or radius down. So let's try 10. I think 10 is too much. We'll try um, 2, 5. And I think that is fine for a moment. And then if you look at this, I don't want to have this solid. So what I'll do is I want to make it a uh, more like a surface object so I'll select the governor fracture go to the object then I am going to I think is hall alone yeah yeah that is it so that's what I'm going to select so I have that hall alone all right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to affect I'm going to change this up by letting um by adding some effectors to this all right so i'll select this for this uh, push apart i'm going to go to the um fall off change this fall off to um, linear and i'm going to change the scale of this guy just scale this down a little bit then i am going to change the rotation of this fall off to z and that again and I'm here and then I'll select this fall off and bring it down so I think 10 is fine and for this fall off I'm going to bring this quite maybe like 40 44 there about let's just try 40 so we have this so I think the push apart is not enough so i will change this to minus z so that it gradually comes back all right so the push apart is not enough so what i'm going to do is i'm going to increase this um radius so i'll change this radius to 10 i think five works okay so we have that then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add another effector to it. And this effector is what we're going to use to scale this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this push apart, hold down shift, and add a plane effector to it. So if I add a plane effector, the plane effector is going to be a child of this object. And also, I want it to be on the same location. Notice this they are not on the same so i'll just psr that it comes down so i'm also going to make this um linear then if you look at this value we have 31.4 times 1.410 so i'll do the same thing for the plane it's going to be so what i'll do is just select this right click copy and go to the push apart or for the plane, right click and paste, it's going to paste that same value. So I don't need to start copying and pasting. And then after that, 
I will also bring this to the same value I have, which is 40. And what I want to affect with this is not the position. I want to affect the scale. So this scale is going to be minus one. And I think we are changing this to minus Z. So let's see what we have. All right, so we're not having the effect because we have not added this to the Verona fracture. So if I select Verona fracture, I go to the factor. I want to have the plane effector added afterwards. So if we highlight the push apart because the plane effector is a chart of it, if we highlight this comes and we have this. So what I want to do is I want the, you notice the way this keeps coming. So you notice it comes here. So I think I would take the position and bring the position down to minus. That should be fine. Let's try minus 10, just a little bit. So if I bring this push apart up, it starts coming up, right? But then I don't like the way this is coming here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, I think, bring this um, a little bit below this guy so that it doesn't get too much. So we, ha we have this kind of effect. So let, oh, sorry. That's not what I meant to move. The push apart is what I meant to move. So yeah, this is what I'm looking for. So this comes up. I have that. All right. So you see the effect I'm looking at. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this stuff we've created. So I'm going to open this um, liquid and then play through. Look at how I want this to flow. So if I bring this up here, this is the kind of effect I'm looking at, closing this. So I want this to finish up as soon as this thing gets here. As soon as it gets here, that's when I want this push apart to close up. So I'll just get to this place and keyframe that push apart movement. So we're moving along the Z or Y. Then we'll come down to this section and bring the push apart down. And keyframe that. So if we look through, this is what we're going to have. Okay, so now this is quite too fast. I don't like how it comes in. So it comes in rather too fast. So I'll just bring it still down so that it comes in when it's almost done. So I'll still bring this forward, something like that. Okay, so I think we still need to bring this here, let's see. Okay, I think the what we, are change, we should change is the end points. So bring this here, let's see what we have. Yeah, I love that. I love that. So if we play through, and let's just hide these guys. And also for the liquid simulation, just go to the display, hide those two. And this, what is this? Okay, so this is the drag, hide the drag, hide all of our demons. So once we have everything hidden, if we check through now, this is what we're going to have. We place through and this close up. So but then, the way this thing... The way the Verona fracture closes up, I don't really like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a third effector. So I've selected the Verona fracture. So make sure all of these things are inside this package. It's very important. So let's see. So I'm going to select Verona fracture and hold down control so that it's going to be on the same um, position. Then I'm going to add a blend, or oh, sorry, a delay. So the delay, what I want to do on the delay under the factor is to make sure I choose, I think, blend. But let's try spring, and if that doesn't 
work quite fine. We'll go to blend. So let's see. Okay, I think I'm liking that. Even though I feel that the effect is quite too much. So let's try 30 and go back. And let's see what we have. All right, oh, wow, this is fluid. I like it because we are talking about liquid. So I love the fluidity in this movement as it closes up, and that's fine. So if you notice, I want to get rid of, you notice the color coding here. I don't want to remove the colorization. So I'll just go to the Verona Fracture and Colorize Fragments. I'm going to get rid of that. So if we look through here, this is the effect we're going to have. All right, so I love that. that. That's perfect. That is really good. So maybe what I can do, since I'm not seeing the top, is just to quickly model the what's it called? The cap. So we just quickly create something simple to close it up with. So we'll just bring this up, bring it down. Look at where this cap should fit into. So let's just play this through. Okay, so we have that. So let's bring this cap up. Okay, so I have that. So let's see. What we have. So I think I need to have some spaces here. Bring this up a little bit. And then this is fine. So what I'll do is just select this. And this is still going to be part of my package. So we'll add a little bit of fillet to the cap. This is too much, so I'll just bring this to 0 0.2, thereabouts. I think that's fine. We just want to do something very simple and nothing special. So our camera is going to be somewhere here. So I really don't need to see this detail. So that's fine. So what I'm going to do now is once we have these sets, as this thing comes here, so I'm going to have this um, cap fly down because I know I'm not going to see from the top. So what I'll do is, as soon as this stops here, at this point, I want the cap to be here. So I'm just going to keyframe the Y position at this point and at this point here. I'll take this cap up and keyframe that so we have this so another thing I can add to it is rotation so you notice we have this so at this point here we change the rotation not that one yeah that one so we'll come back to this place keyframe this rotation and go back and rotate this here maybe 360 keyframe that so if you look through what we're going to have this is the effect we're going to have so it just comes in and that's fine all right so and so what i can do to this is just to select that and right click go to curve f curve and for the So let me just keyframe keys, show all track so that whatever track I select is what I'm going to have. So I'll select this and I want the effects to just go gradually to the same thing here. In this case, this goes up a little bit. So let's see what I what we have first off before we. All right, so I like that. So you notice my playback is quite. Uh, not coming well. So what I'm going to do to solve that is to right click on the Verona Fracture, go to MoGraph tag and then add MoGraph Cache, then bake that. So once, as soon as I bake that and that is fine, I can scrub through my timeline and I know that I'll always get what I have. All right. So you see that. So if we play through this, let me just close this and deselect everything. If we play through everything here, you notice what we have All right so that's fine so we like that i like that um yeah i like that 
So that's how I will do that. That so this tutorial is just showing you how I made this packaging of the thing. So in the next tutorial, which is going to be the last tutorial, I'm going to show you how to texture this um, package and go into Photoshop. But before we go to Photoshop, we're going to do the UV mapping of this guy and then export it out and go and texture in Photoshop, then bring it back here for rendering. So if you feel this was helpful, please give me a like and a thumbs up because it helps me in YouTube algorithm. And if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe because I do tutorials like this every time. So do have a wonderful day and God bless you. Bye.